Hi friends, if you're new around here, I'm Christina. This is James. We're based in Salt Lake City and we are obsessed with traveling. Recently, I had the opportunity to head off to Taiwan with my friend Sarah Dietschy. She was doing some work with Intel and my job was to be her videographer, her D-Rock, if you know the Gary V world. Along with being obsessed with traveling, we are both obsessed with creating really high quality, creative YouTube videos, building a creative community. So if you're new around here and that's something that you're interested in, interested in, please feel free to subscribe and also turn on your post notifications because evidently YouTube, you know the drama. Turn on your post notifications so you can get notified of all the new videos that we post. To catch you up and give you some context on this adventure, I was actually extremely nervous to go to Taiwan. I was going to Taipei, that's the capital city, but I think I was nervous for a couple, a plethora of reasons. Number one, my last name is different. I'm married and my passport has my maiden name, so I didn't know that whole process. I was overthinking it. Everything could have been summed up to being overthinking processed brain person of myself. I just, I was really nervous. I was super nervous for the trip and now I realize I was, one of the main reasons that I was nervous was kind of ridiculous and I had a totally wrong assumption of Taiwan and I want to share that with you in this video, but that's not what this video was initially about. This video was going to be about my perception on the brand influencer relationship. So I want to talk about that really, really quick. <laughs> Over the past couple of years, Intel has been working with YouTube creators for them to help spread the message behind all of the technology that lives within the computers that we use. Going into it, I was kind of a skeptic thinking, oh, this big brand, they think that they could control what these creators say, the do's and don'ts of what they're going to mention. And I actually had the opportunity to ask one of the marketing guys why there's do's and don'ts on why you should say things, why you shouldn't say things, and he actually helped me understand it's not that they want to censor the creators, it's that they want to make sure that they're getting their message across. These upfront communications, the do's and don'ts of what's to say, the treatments that you send through that have to get approved by legal teams and all of that, that stuff is important. And I thought that it wasn't. I thought that it was stupid and that the company is trying to have too much control and it's not that they want to have control, it's they want to establish a, a good foundation of how the brand and the influencer works together. I know some countries are different than others. The history behind Taipei, from what I understand, was when China had a civil war, the elites of China left to Taiwan and they built their own country. I think that's the history. I might be wrong, don't come at me, but that's what I learned while I was there. I think all in all what I learned from my experience about being a little bit nervous to go to Taiwan and then being in Taiwan and absolutely loving it, I'm obsessed, I can't wait to go back, was stepping outside of your comfort zone is super important and I feel so energized and I want to go back and I can't wait to take on more of the country, more so than just the city. There's actually a port side town um, called Geelong, I believe. It's spelled Keelong, but I believe it's pronounced Geelong. That place looks freaking gorgeous, so I can't wait to go back and then actually visit that location. If you're watching, you're probably a creative human being who loves to adventure or take pictures, shoot video. Um, I want to encourage you to make sure you're continuing to step outside your comfort zone because number one, you will never grow if you're in your comfort zone. You have to step out of it creatively, adventurely go to another country, but you don't even have to do that. Go on a photo walk by yourself. For me personally, that was one of my favorite moments of the trip. I went on a, I went on two photo walks. The first one was the first day. You guys saw that if you watched the last video, and if you haven't seen that, I will link it below. And the second photo walk that I went on was actually at night. This was after a couple of days being in Taipei. I kind of got a bit more of a vibe of the city and I felt super, super safe walking at night. I walked all the way to Taipei 101, which was maybe about a seven minute walk. And there was so much activity going on. There was street art. There was a cat lady thing, statue. I don't know what it was, but 
I love doing things with people and I don't typically like to do things like photo walks by myself, but because I did it, it was literally one of my favorite memories of the trip. We're going on. You know that old power tool you have? This is a total side note. Ha are any of you guys having the issue where if somebody calls you on your computer or if you take your AirPods out of your ears, whatever you had paused in the background starts to play? I don't know if that makes any sense, but I've been having this issue with my computer and it's kind of annoying because it f like that stuff happens. Bring in an old power tool. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe, like the video if you like it, Hit the dislike button if you didn't like it because I want your honest opinion. And comment some of your thoughts on traveling, getting outside of your comfort zone. Have you ever visited a country where you had no idea what the culture was and it shifted your perspective when you got there from some of the assumptions that you did have? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I appreciate you guys so freaking much. I'm having such a good time making videos lately and I'm excited to keep keep that train rolling. So have a fantastic day, guys. Go crush it. Do your dangest creative work. What? Your dangest creative? Anyway, guys, have a great day. Bye.